panhandle of West Virginia distinguishes itself from the rest of the state in many ways, with agriculture being a notable highlight. Farmers nationwide are modernizing to increase income while continuing to supply the nation's food, and the Eastern Panhandle is no exception. Orr's Farm Market on Ardenoville is a great example. They have embraced agritourism to diversify and enhance its revenue. For generations, the Eastern Panhandle has been home for the farm. My grandfather started the farm in 1954. He bought his first orchard. He had grown up in a farming family, but never owned a farm. And so as local orchardists went out of business, they would offer their land up to him for sale. So the farm grew to be about 1,100 acres, um, probably in like the late 90s, early 2000s. And then the farm split in half in 2018. So my dad and our side of the family kept this location with the farm market and most of the retail operations is what we do. Um, we do wholesale to grocery stores, um, but the other brother uh, got half of the farm and he does wholesale apples um, to sell to wholesale like grocery stores and things. Katie was a kindergarten teacher for years, but left to return to work at the farm. And I really wanted to expand what we offered to the family. So we started doing field trips and we started adding onto the market and adding the bakery. And there was just a lot of projects I wanted to do. And we started advertising more. And that's when we started seeing, you know, we started seeing an influx in customers. And that was really um, interesting to learn how to deal with, like how to have more space because logistically we were a very small market. So in 2018, we built the new wing onto our current market and added the extra bakery space. And now we can do a lot more out of the, the building that we have now. As many know, Orr's has so much to offer. So the family doesn't consider it a typical farming business. We call this agritourism because um, people are coming here for a tourism experience. And so it's not just about the fruit, it's also about the whole experience. That you know, we want the friendly staff, we want people to feel like they're part of the community, feel like they love this area of Martinsburg. And whether they're from here or from another place, we want them to just feel at home here. And so we offer pick your own fruits. We offer the pumpkin patch and petting zoo experience. Um, we offer the bakery, the whole retail experience is very large here compared to a lot of farm markets. Um, we have the food truck on the weekends and um, we do live bluegrass music on Saturdays and um, we do a barbecue and bluegrass event the first Saturday of every month. And um, we do the, Chris, you know, we have fresh cut Christmas trees at Christmas. We do a hot cocoa booth. So there's a lot more activities here than what you would see at just a regular retail farm market. Orr's Farm Market is a must visit destination when people come to the Panhandle. However, farmers remain deeply rooted in their local communities. So as farmers, um, we are, planted here, right? And you're to bloom where you're planted. And so, you know, you hear people say, well, you know, this about Martinsburg or that about Martinsburg. And, um, you know, we, we believe that this is our home and that if there's something that we don't like about it, it's our job to make it better, right? Um, as farmers, we can't just lift up and leave. As Katie has seen the growth of the farm and the market throughout her life, she shares the gratitude the family has for their patrons. We just want to say that we really appreciate the local customers coming out every season to support us. Um, it means so much. Um, we've really enjoyed hearing all the feedback from the Jefferson County store. There's a lot of customers up there that are like, we're so glad you're here. And it's been such a warm welcome and we're really appreciative of that. And we, we rely on those customers to keep us going in, in seasons like this. So we just want to say a big thanks to all of them. With TV 10, I'm Cade Miller.